Okay, audio instrument track channel strips, and they are pretty much the same. Okay, so you select an audio instrument track, make sure this slot at the top is highlighted in white, and then over here is the channel strip library for audio instrument tracks. Now, when you load a channel strip for an audio instrument track, it's the same as loading a channel strip for an audio track, okay? In other words, it loads up EQ and FX set in a particular way to give a certain sound. It loads everything. But it's not, in the case of um, audio instrument track channel strip presets, it's not only loading up EQ and insert effects to give an overall sound, but it's also loading the actual instrument as well as the sample set or the instrument patch. It loads everything. The plug-in instrument with its sample set or its patch and all the parameters on that audio instrument set in the particular way, like the filter and things, as well as any EQ and any effects that all together go to make up the sound. Okay, And if we go through, for example, the channel strip presets for audio instrument tracks for, say, synthesizers, and we're going to synth leads, Look, you can see quite clearly that they've got names like, you know, Classic Trance, Dominator, Flange City, etc. And the names, Euphoria Synth Strings, yeah? Analog Synth Brass, um, Cloaked Bass, Classic Acid Bass, etc. The names don't mention at all the actual audio instruments so you are choosing the type of sound by name rather than the actual instrument okay now if we look back at the main folders the first folder is logic instruments now if you choose one of these channel strip presets it does just load only the raw instrument into this input slot that we showed earlier okay for example I'll choose the ESM and all it's done is change the instrument only because we're in the logic instruments folder which simply has a list of all the instruments that logic has in its collection all right but if we were to go into say synthesizers synth leads and I chose classic trance watch the channel strip over here Okay, it's loaded the EXS sampler with the trancy hook sample set and the filter is set in this particular way and the envelopes are set in this particular way, etc. It's also loaded an ensemble, an exciter, the enverb reverb, a compressor and a limiter. And the combination of the EXS sampler with that trancy hook sample set and these effects all together go to make up the sound called classic trance and it sounds like this <laughs> okay now you might have noticed there's one insert slot greyed out here sometimes you'll load up a channel strip preset and there'll be some of the insert effects are greyed out, in which case you just hold down ALT and left click to activate that extra insert effect. Uh, sometimes there'll be an insert effect that's greyed out, so it gives you the option to add it in. Okay, like now this is the classic trance channel strip, the combination of the sampler and the sample set and all the effects, but now including the delay, and it sounds like this. You know, it's just got that delay on it now yeah okay again hold down alt and left click to turn that off or any other one off okay <coughs> okay so that's audio instrument track channel strips it doesn't only load the EQ and effects but it also loads the instrument and the sample set or patch okay so let's choose another one um, bass electric uh, or synth bass rather I'm going to choose dark trance bass. Ready? Here we go. Left click. Hey. Okay, now it's l still loaded the EXS24, 
but this time with a sample set called Trance Dark and the controls are different as well, the envelope and filter and everything. Okay, and the combination of that sampler with the sample set that it's loaded and the compressor and the channel EQ all together go to make up the sound called Dark Trance Bass and it sounds like this. Okay, so that's what audio instrument channel strips are. It's the same as audio track channel strips. It's loading up all the EQ and effects, but also loading the instrument and the sample set or the patch if it's a synth. Okay. <coughs> now, when you are loading channel strips for audio instrument tracks, it's not the same thing as changing the plug-in instrument. That's something different. Yes, when you load an audio instrument channel strip, it does load up an instrument and the patch or sample set, but loading a channel strip preset for an audio instrument track is not the same thing as actually changing the plug-in instrument. To do that, you just go down to this input slot on the channel strip, left click and hold down, and choose a different instrument. Okay? All right. Okay, so that's the basics of how the library works and what it is. So let's now look at this upper slot, okay, which is the same whether you've got an audio instrument track selected. Okay, there's this menu of channel strip commands, right, as well as the library underneath, which is a copy of the library over here, right? And that's the same also on an audio track channel strip if I again left click and hold down this upper slot which I call the channel strip setting slot again you get the same common channel strip setting commands and then underneath the library but it's the different library this time um, it's the library for audio track channel strips which is different but the library underneath is the same as the library over here for audio track channel strips and if you choose audio instrument track channel strips and left click on and hold down on this channel strip setting slot at the top you get the same common channel strip setting commands but the library is different and matches the library over here look okay okay so let's now look at this channel strip setting slot button and all these commands and stuff again okay, go into it in a little more detail <laughs> 